Hi everyone, this is Dr. Praveen S. Patliha. Today we are going to discuss about the or look into the Sivana Karma that is suturing. As per Shushruta, the indications for suturing is Sivya Med Samuttascha Binna Sulikita Gadaha Sadhyavarunascha Echaiva Chalashandi Vapashrataha Med Samuttascha Adipose tissue coming out of the wound Binnaha Incised wound Sulikitaha well scraped or clean wound, Sadhyavarunascha that is fresh wound, and Chalashandi Vapashita the wound situated in the movable areas like joint. So these are the indications for Sivana Karma. Vellitaka, Gofanika, Turnasevani, and Rujuganti are the four methods of suturing or Sivana Karma as per Shushata. So, and at the last, he told Yata Yogam Tapiva. So, as per the requirement, you can modify the method of suturing and you can apply. So, right now, I am demonstrating the suturing method called Ruju Granthi. Ruju Granthi, the word meaning of Ruju Granthi is the not in the, the way of Sivana Karma in between the not comes, that is, Granthi comes. So, a simple interrupted suture can be compared with the Riju Granthi. Meanwhile, we look into the contraindications for Sivana Karma. Na Ksharagni Vishajustaha na Cha Maruta Vahini na Antarlohita Shalyasha Teshu Samnakushadanam. Na Ksharagni Vishajusta. The wound uh, due to the Kshara or uh, that is caustic burn or agni like scald, burn and visha. Uh, due to the poisoning, so such kind of wounds supposed not to be closed. Na maruta vahini, the wounds from where the air is coming out, like in case of the gas gangrene or the wounds like the tracheal injuries, chest or uh, lung injuries, such kind of wounds supposed not to be closed. Na antalhoyita shallashcha, the wound in which the blood clot or foreign body is situated, such wounds must be cleaned properly and later on it has to be closed. So now we are looking into the Raju Granthi that is simple interrupted sutures. So once that suture material is placed across the two lips or two margins of the wound, then two clockwise loops are formed on the needle holder and it is placed and another anti-clockwise loop is placed and the knot is secured. So this kind of knotting is called a surgeon's knot. Shushruta has explained a different kinds of suture materials like Ashmantaka that is ficus, Ramphai, Shanai that is hems or that is Shoma Sutra, Flex, Snayu that is ligaments, Bala, hairs, Murva Guduchi, that is Murva and Guduchi, Morus Alba and uh, Tenospora Cardifolia. These are the drugs what we has, he has explained uh, with as a suture materials used in the form of the fine thread. Right now we are using a proline 20. So which is a non-absorbable. So as I told earlier, so two loops are formed in the clockwise direction and later on uh, one loop is formed in the anti-clockwise direction so to have a secure knotting which is called as surgeon's knot. So this is uh, once again a simple interrupted suturing method which is called as Raju Granthi. The next one is Gofanika. Suturing as that of the gulel or resembling the foot of the cow. So this method is used in the where there is a gaping of the wound is there. It is, can be compared with the blanket suture or horizontal mattress suturing or vertical mattress suturing. The advantages of this method of suturing is used in case of the tension sutures or re-suturing. And the disadvantage is cosmetically not better accepted. Here, the word of Gofanika suggests a gulel in which two uneven structures are 
tied or bonded with a knotting or a joining so here what we are doing so this is a vertical matter suture so as that of a simple interrupted suture and there will be reversing or lip margin or the wound margin approximation will be there in the second step so once again knot placing is same as that of the previous one that is surgeon's knot two loops in the clockwise direction and one loop in the anti-clockwise direction so this is vertical matra suture which can be compared with the gofanica So this is a Vellitaka method of suturing. The word Vellitaka refers to as the resemblance of the creeper. Initially, the suture material is secured with simple suturing and the continuous suturing is done. So it looks like a creeper climbing the tree. This method of suturing is easy to perform and is the less time consuming and less suture material consuming now the only disadvantage is you can't open a part of the wound so once if you cut the suture the entire wound will get decent so that is the main disadvantages and cosmetically is not much accepted so this method of suturing is used when we are closing the structures like peritoneum, fascia, etc., where vascular compromisation will not affect much. So, in, only in those conditions, we can use this kind of suturing. So, this so method of suturing, that is simple interrupted, sorry, uh, continuous suturing, is this Vellitaka suturing can be compared with the Glover's continuous suturing. This can be secured with the locking also. Now I am showing this is the locking method. So or else we can remove it off. So that is the locking method which gives a, a better security to the suturing method. So this is a locking method. See, this is the locking method or else we can remove it off and this is the continuous suturing so that is if you lock for each and every suture that we call it as a continuous locking suturing so at the end once again you have to take it off and do a uh, two clockwise looping over the forceps and one anti-clockwise looping the next one is tunasevani suturing as that of the skull sutures or as that of the patchwork where suture material is not seen outside the skin so such kind of suturing is called as tunnasevani it can be compared with subcuticular suturing the advantage is better cosmetically accepted this advantage is is not possible to open a part of the wound when a seroma or hematoma or infection occurs initially you have to take a bite within the skin margins then you have to place or secure with the knotting so see you can observe here the needle is not coming out of the skin so it's most of the time it we, we operate in the uh, dermal layer so most of the time so the needle is passed in the dermal layer of the skin is not coming out of the skin or is not visible outside the skin the suturing method should be done with very meticulously nati duro nit krushte va suchi karmani pateyet 
दूराद्रुज हो ऋणोष्ट से सन्नीकृष्ट अवलुंचन सो नाति दूर न कृष्टे द सूचिंग शुड नॉट बी टू फार और नॉट टू नियर टू द ऊंड मार्जिन दूराद्रुज हो इफ इज दे प्लेस्ड टू फार देन इट कॉजस पेन एंड इफ इट इज टू नियर दैट इज सन्नीकृष्ट अवलुंचन देन इट गेट्स कट थ्रू फ्रॉम द स्किन मार्जिन सो दिस इज द मेथड ऑफ सूचिंग वॉट द सुश्रुत हेज टोल्ड नियरली अबाउट टू थाउजेंड टू फोर थाउजेंड इयर्स बैक हियर एज ए टोल्ड अर्लियर द नीडल हेज टू बी प्लास पासड इन द डर्मल लेयर ऑफ द स्किन so this is about the four methods of suturing uh, which is told by shushruta if you like this video then kindly subscribe to channel and press the bell icon thank you thanks for watching my video thank you one and all